Hey, what's up guys? Metaphor here and today's video is going to be a settings video. This has been asked for a lot and I haven't made one in a long time. I have changed a couple settings, but a lot of my settings are actually pretty similar to what they've been. I've messed around with a lot of stuff over time and I've also talked to people who specialize in tuning PCs and stuff like that. So my settings are what they are for a reason. And uh, yeah, basically a lot of people always wonder why my textures kind of look Play-Doh-y. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you everything that I have. So if you copy my stuff, you should have similar results. It's obviously not for everyone, and this is mainly a PC guide, but for those of you guys who play on console, uh, there are going to be some things as well. And I also have some monitor settings that my homie Reese, uh, FPS Reese on Twitter, helped me out with. He's been helping me with like PC stuff lately, so shout out to him. But uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to kind of just go through like all my settings right now. Um, there will be little things that you can click on at the bottom of the screen that will show you, you know, uh, if you want to skip to certain parts of the video, obviously some things aren't going to matter for, for people and yeah, whatever. Um, all right. So first off right now, my sensitivity is 3.45. Now I play on 2000 DPI. So, uh, this sensitivity might seem pretty low with 2000 DPI. It does actually change it quite a bit. So that is what I'm doing. And for the people who ask me why I play on 2000 DPI, it's just what I got used to. And instead of changing my DPI, I just changed my in-game sensitivity. So. Yeah, I haven't really changed anything uh, in terms of that. My ADS sensitivity multiplier is 0.9, however. Uh, so this is actually going to be different than what it was on my last video. So if you guys do want to copy my sense right now, it's 3.45 and then 0.9 ADS multiplier. What this does is when you are actually ADS, your sensitivity changes. So it's something that, uh, you know, gets used a lot if you're playing high sen sensitivity on controller and you know, you want to take advantage of the aim assist. That's how people get away with going like 2020 stuff like that. So yeah, mouse acceleration. You definitely want to have that turned off. If you have this, uh, if you go into your windows panel and you do mouse settings, you definitely want to have uh, mouse acceleration turned off. I think it's in here. Yeah, right here pointer precision this will be on by default so make sure you take that off uh, you definitely do not want to have that on whatsoever it is absolutely terrible so make sure you don't do that if you do have it on well you'll probably get some improvement uh, when you take it off here are my movement settings this is all pretty standard stuff here uh i've actually never seen this walk setting before but i guess it's on 45 percent. it must be a new setting i actually do not play with automatic tentacle sprint on um and my keybinds, a lot of people ask for my keybinds. I do hit X to prone and left left control to crouch and slide. So people are probably going to wonder how that works. The way that I have my hand on my keyboard and mouse, I have obviously my middle finger on W, my ring finger on A, my index finger on D. And then what I do is when I'm sliding is I actually, I have my pinky on shift. So what I actually do is the little like, top part of my hand underneath my pinky, I actually hit control with that as I'm slide canceling. So I'm constantly hitting my keyboard with the, like kind of the base of my, like not really the bottom of my hand, more so the area of skin underneath your pinky. That's kind of what I hit for sliding. So it's kind of weird. If you guys want to try it, go for it. But a lot of people say it's kind of weird. So I don't know if I really recommend that, but it's there if you guys want it. Uh, we'll just go through some of these settings. I don't think they're that important. Always want to make sure your armor plate behaviors on apply all. Uh, if you're on controller or not, definitely, definitely want to have this on, uh, on both inputs. A lot of these settings, even if you're on controller or you're on console can be used because these aren't just all keyboard and mouse or PC settings. So this stuff is super standard. I don't think anyone ever changes anything in here. Overlays and shortcuts. So this is like kind of a weird one for those of you guys who, uh, run into an issue where sometimes you will hit the windows key when you're playing, you can actually change that. So when it's on game, you can press the windows key, but if you have it on operating system, it actually doesn't, uh, Oh no game. If you have it on game, then it'll make it so that you can't actually hit the windows key. The reason why I have it on operating system right now is because I use guy as took my thumbnail screenshot. So obviously I have to you know, hit that and then go to guy so all super standard stuff. My ping is on my middle mouse button. It's a little bit awkward to press, but it is what it is. That's how I do it. 
and I use the mouse button right here to talk to my teammates. This stuff is all super standard. I've never changed that. And now we get to the juiciness, the graphic settings. Um, so yeah, basically my monitor is the Alienware 2721D. Um, this monitor is insane. It's a 1440, uh, 240 hertz. And for those of you guys who are wondering about the monitor settings, what I actually have done, um, I can't really show you guys, but, and this isn't just for this monitor. If you do actually have this monitor, then, then go to game settings, go to preset modes, custom color, and then it'll bring up an RGB slider, three sliders, R, G, and B. And if you guys don't have the alien one monitor, that's fine. But what you want to do is the R. So, uh, for R, you want to put it to 70% for g 80 percent and for b 80 percent so this is actually you can't see it on video because it's my monitor setting but this actually makes the filter on the season 5 map look way better it's it's absolutely terrible as it is right now but having the rgb settings to that is super helpful so i do recommend doing that on any monitor you have um even if you're on console if you're playing on a monitor just go into your monitor's rgb settings and change that to 70 percent on r g 80 and b 80. Okay, and these are my settings down here. Quality settings, this is what a lot of people are gonna be looking for. So this is what I usually have my settings on. Um, this is like, this is how I get the Play-Doh textures. For those of you guys who are wondering, you wanna have your render resolution on 100%. Um, also, for those of you guys who are playing PC, put your FOV on affected. This is what gives you the no recoil look. Even though it's a lot harder to actually see things, uh, as you can see in this picture on the left right here, uh, on the left you can actually see more, like it's more zoomed in, but on the right it's more zoomed out, so it's less visual recoil, but it's harder to see. It's kind of like the disadvantages of being on 120 FOV and the advantages of being on 120 FOV. Okay, and these are my settings. Super standard stuff here. You want to make sure you have the shadows enabled right here instead of disabled. The reason why my graphic settings were turned up were for thumbnails, by the way. I wasn't pranking you guys or anything like that. These are my settings. You want to make sure you have the square mini map on. For those of you burgers who have the circle mini map, it's really bad to do that. The square actually gives you more vision. You can even see in this picture itself. Look at the vision difference. It's actually insane. I have the compass disabled. Uh, not for any particular reason. I don't really use the compass. I mainly play solos and there, there are some usefulness to the compass. Like you can line it up. You can line up where the dots are with your UAV on the compass. However, uh, I don't really do that. So I took it off because I just think the game looks better with that turned off. That's a new feature they put into the game. Audio settings. This is something I get a lot. People always talk about my audio settings. So if you guys want to actually copy my direct audio settings, I do not change these ever. Um, and this is what we got. So we run boost low. And the reason why we run boost low is because this boosts low frequency audio, AKA footsteps. That is the big one that everyone wants. And no matter what input, no matter what platform you're on, put that on boost low. Switching to boost low, it's gonna sound really weird at the start, but trust me, it'll pay off. Um, for controller settings, this is like basically what I've been told are the best possible controller settings. So for those of you guys who want the best aim assist possible, standard aim assist with scale, aim assist with FOV. Now, for those of you guys who don't really understand an aim response curve standard, uh, people have said doing other ones, but I need to tell you guys something about aim assist and like how it actually works. When you guys are using controller, make sure when you're shooting, you're moving your left analog stick with your right one. You don't want to just stand still and shoot. You want to actually move that left analog stick and it'll, that'll create that little aimbot effect. I'm not trying to trigger anybody when I say that, but the reason why your guys' aim assist don't do that or whatever people type is because you're not using your left analog stick properly. So I do recommend uh, these settings on controller and I recommend moving that left analog stick. You also want to put on... Uh, Where's the setting? Where's the setting? Where's the setting? You want to put on contextual tap. Right here. Use reload behavior. Contextual tap makes it so you can spam uh, picking stuff up. So that's pretty much all there is for in-game settings. Now we're going to do some out-of-game settings. And this is for PC players only. 
So first things first, you're going to open up your documents folder and you're going to click on Modern Warfare and you're going to go to players. And then right here, you're going to go to advanced options. Once you open up advanced options, you're going to get this thing popped up right here. And whatever your CPU is, you want to take the core amount of your CPU, cut it in half. And that is what you want to put it on. So for example, I have a 5950X right now, number of cores, uh, 16, right? So what I want to do is I want to put my cores or my render work count at eight. Also video memory scale at 0.85. I don't actually know why these are good, but they are good. And you just got to trust me on that one. Also, another PC setting that you guys need to try to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel, go to 3D settings right here, power management mode, prefer maximum performance right here and texture filtering quality high performance that's pretty much it for the settings guys that's pretty much everything you can do uh, my specs are going to be posted in the description down below probably in the comments or something like that or they're going to show up on screen i don't really know nonetheless i do hope you guys enjoy the settings video a lot of people have been asking for it thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you learn anything from this video and let me know if you guys notice some improvements in your systems thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day peace